Hey there, Solid Signal fans. I want to share with you my new favorite cellular meter. It's this, it's the Cell Link, which is available exclusively from Wilson Electronics, makers of WeBoost cellular signal boosters. First of all, I want to tell you this thing comes in a really great uh, waterproof case, hot, hard, solid case, and really nice. Honestly, just uh, almost worth it for the case. A little bit of history here. Um, the cell link meter was developed by a separate company, which was then purchased by Wilson Electronics. When they first came up with this meter, it was about $1,300 meter, which is great. Uh, if you're you know, professional and you need that sort of stuff, fantastic. But when Wilson bought it, they cut the price more than in half, and that makes it an incredible deal. This one that I've got here is from the original manufacturer, Signal Tech, but the Wilson Electronics one works exactly the same. Um, packaging might be a little bit different on the new ones. Haven't seen a new one yet, but it, I'm really more interested in how the thing works as opposed to um, you know what you get. That said, let's take a look at what's in the box. You open up this nice waterproof case, and you get a bunch of things here. First of all, you get this card which kind of tells you exactly what to do and where to go and, and what to be. And it's two-sided. It gives you pretty much all the instruction you're going to need for, for running this thing. You get the meter itself, which does not look like any other meter that you're ever going to see. Uh, it's just basically a black monolith that has an antenna connection and a USB plug on the top. Um, you do get a paddle antenna um, to connect to it, although you can connect to it, uh, you can connect to pretty much any cellular antenna out there. Like other cell signal meters, I would not recommend connecting this to the output of a cellular signal booster. It might work or it might just fry things, so I just wouldn't do it. But you get a ton of adapters here. Um, first of all, you, you get a, an end connector barrel so you can connect to you know whatever you need if there's a, a gender issue there. Um, you get an end to an SMA so pretty much any any antenna with an end connector is going to work for this because there's an SMA connector on the meter itself. Um, you get an end to an F so if you're working with 75 ohm system you get that. You get an F to an N so in other words there's a, a female to male and a male to female um, so again, no matter what you've got, it, it still works. And finally, you get um, an SMA to N, which I'm not quite sure, honestly, when you would use that, but hey, um, always nice to have. Finally, you get kind of a, a really nice little branded USB connector and USB charger, although this is honestly, it's, it's a generic piece uh, that I've seen with other uh, other devices, so any USB charger and micro USB cable is going to work for you there. So the difference with this particular meter is that it works with your phone. I mean, because everybody's got a phone, you've got a supercomputer in your pocket. Why not use it? You know, other meters will give you a, a fairly simple display and you know somewhere between four and six buttons that will be needed for just about everything. And I don't know about you, but with some cell signal meters, I I have this nasty tendency to turn them off when I just mean to press enter. It's just because of the way the, the buttons work. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. But this device, it connects to your phone, uses an app, so you get a lot more control over it. Once it's charged up, you turn it on, download the app, and connect it. Once it's connected, it's going to go into a survey mode, uh, which takes about a minute, two minutes. It says it takes up to five minutes. It never seems to take that long. And you will see all of the services and all of the towers that are available to you. Um, if you've got a good cell connection on your phone, you can also generally get geo information. In other words, where that actual tower is. I mean, on, on actual Google Maps. You can sort things by carrier. You can sort them by 3G or 4G. Um, and there's also a live view, which takes a reading from all these towers every two seconds or so and gives you live signal readings. Now, what you got to know about the 
live view as opposed to the survey view. When you look at them, you're gonna notice there's two separate sets of numbers and they, they don't match up. The ones from the survey view are going to be lower. In this neighborhood, they're in the negative 100 to negative 110 range. Um, but if you look at the live view, they're more at the you know, 85, 90 range, negative 85, negative 90. And I worked with the folks over at Wilson Electronics to find out why that is. Now, the live view numbers sync up more or less with what I see from other cell signal meters. And the survey view syncs up more or less with what I found in the iPhone's test mode, which is a pretty useless thing, but there's a whole blog about that. I don't really wanna talk about that. Um, and I found out why. The survey view is giving you RSRP. Now, RSRP, reference signal received power, is really a very specific way of measuring cell signals. It's almost like it's tuning, it's, it's like it's actually almost making a call with every tower and getting the signal levels you would get while making a call. There's a lot of math to it, I don't wanna go into it, but RSRP is a very accurate way of detecting cell signals and regular cell signal meters don't show it. The live view here doesn't show it either. It's showing what's called RSSI, which is a little bit more akin to the raw signal level that you would get just kind of receiving this as if you were looking at a radio, which is why it, it matches up more with the signal meters that you've seen in the past. There's really no need to worry about it though. RSSI numbers tend to be about 20 dB higher than RSRP numbers. If you're used to dealing with the ones from a traditional cell signal meter, use the RSSI numbers. Otherwise, use the RSRP numbers and you're gonna find exactly what you need. Either way, I have to tell you, this is the best signal meter experience that I've had. No, this is not the cheapest signal meter you're gonna get. But if this is what you do for a living, you want something like this. You want something that gives you the data you want. It'll do an entire site survey for you in about two minutes. And I don't think I even mentioned, it will let you save all that data and then upload it or email it or whatever so that you've pretty much got that site report done. This is gonna let you help your customers get the best cell signal that they can. I'm incredibly impressed with this meter and I hope that you will check it out at solidsignal.com because you, you know, you're not gonna find a better cell signal meter, not for this purpose.